What's going on? It's your boy I Austin Fly Floss and we at the radio show 1580 AM. If you don't know, you better learn about it. We here with Dundee, we here with Miller, you know what I'm saying? We about to blow up, man. Blow up the spot, man. Show y'all artists out there how to get on the radio show, how people can request live and be heard worldwide. That's what the new movement is for y'all artists who need to get heard. Be heard worldwide. Yeah. Yo, this is your boy MD right here at the radio show, 1580 AM and on Ustream.com. Say, check out your boys, West Coast Spotlight on YouTube. I mean, you can hear the best of the artists, independent artists, hitting right at you. Know what they do, how they do it, and when they do it. So next time you want to get a chance to find out what independent music is all about, go to the West Coast Spotlight on YouTube. It's all in your face. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. We're going to step away from I'll take off your clothes. You're not knowing. The radio shows this. Hello. You know, somebody got scared. Yeah, Spirit, I got scared. 626793 9 We've got some folks in the building. As I stated a little earlier, we got uh, some folks from West Coast Spotlight. Yes, West sir. Coast Spotlight. Go ahead and check them out on YouTube. West Coast Spotlight on YouTube. Type that in there. You can see what they got going on. So we got them in the building right now. Tell everybody your name. Yes, yeah, your boy I Austin Fly Flossing. We got L Rich in the building, West Coast Spotlight. What's going on? The radio show, man. It's an honor being here. We appreciate you letting us come through, man, and put y'all in the spotlight, man. It's all good, man. That's well, what we're doing. Well, welcome to the radio show. We got a lot going on. They're interviewing us, and we're interviewing them. So normally, what we do on the show, we we normally bring a lot of folks on to interview them here on the air. But this time they're gonna flip the script on us. They're gonna interview us. That's right. Indeed, and Dundee, we're gonna be interviewed on the air right now. So go ahead and uh, fly away with some of your questions. We're doing a simultaneous thing live on the radio show. Fly, so I ask right fly. West Coast Spotlight at the same time. Let's go ahead and make it happen, man. Do you think? Well, you know, West Coast Spotlight. It, it, it was basically formed to have all types of West Coast talent have a, another outlet to expose their talent. And, you know, we came across, uh, you know, Dundee Mill and the radio show and was definitely interested in the movement because this is definitely a spotlight for the West Coast to be heard across the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the, you know, people don't really know, a lot of the artists, I should say, because we was talking, uh, you know, a couple of weeks back coming from an artist standpoint, right. uh, you know, we don't really know a lot of those outlets that, a lot of the resources that we have right in the, our back corner, you know what I'm saying, our backyard, right. I should say. So, you know, we West Coast Spotlight, we want to know, you know, exact, tell West Coast Spotlight, how long have you been, really been, you know, doing this, you know, this, the radio show? How long have you guys, not here, but, you know, just doing the it? Radio period? Yeah, radio well, period. Well, you know what, the radio show has actually been in existence for at least 10 years, to be honest with you. So yeah. I'm glad you asked it, because no one has never really asked that, you know, that question. And right. The radio show has actually been in existence for 10 years. In fact, it started out at uh, uh, ARN, ARN, you know, Cal State Long Beach. The radio show, what the show used to be about, it was more of a, um, uh, well, you, you picture back then, they had, you had the, the best record from Hot 92 Jams, mm -hmm. which is more of your, your grown up, grown folk right. station, R&B station. Right. The best record from The Beat at the time, which uh -huh. is your hip hop station. Best record from Power 106 mm -hmm. at the time. The uh -huh. best record from, from, from KLON, which is the jazz station. Uh -huh. Then your best underground hip hop record from, mm -hmm. 
from uh, uh, from Mike Nardone's show at, at, KF, at KXLU. Right. right. So the radio show was a combination of all of the hit records from all those radio stations mm. put together. That's why it was called the radio show, because it was several stations at one time. Man, you know what, so, not, to, not to cut you oh, cut off, but yeah. this you saying that it just rung a bell because I went to Cal State Long Beach. Oh, that's where I graduated from too. Class About 10 years, of, you feel me? Yeah. Class of 2001? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you was there in the, the quad. Yeah, I with the Okay, yeah. so now it all starts to ring a bell, you feel me? Because right. I was at Cal State Long Beach, you oh, know okay. what I'm saying? I, I graduated, you know what I'm saying, 99, so I was okay. right there 2000. So we might cross paths and didn't know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's just, so you've been doing this for a while, man. Oh, you I've been know doing what I'm saying? And, and for all you guys who don't know, mm -hmm. who may, you know, uh, went to Cal State Long, you know, Cal, uh, Cal State Long Beach, the radio station was popping there. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? When y'all had it popping there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, it's definitely, you know, I can see the transgressions, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, from where y'all are going, man. And, you know, we want to we wanna let the, 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 the singers and the talent know that it's, it's not hard to get on the radio, you know? Exactly. Matter of fact, tell, we, we want to get down to the grid. Mm -hmm. tell, tell the artists how can they get on the, the radio and what's involved in it, you know what I mean? Because you know, you don't want to get like you no know, neat material. You know, they want to make sure they come correct. Just kind of put it on the table, so that person like me, an artist, could be like, okay, I know exactly what's going on. I need to get on the radio show. Well, you know, the radio show was was created. You know, I'm gonna quickly go through that real quick and how we kind of transgression to what we are now. Right, right. Real quick, we went from playing all the hit records. To when I went to um, 87.7 Orange East Liberation Radio, big shout out to all them over there at 87.7 used to be around. We went to half major, half independent, and then we finally switched to strictly independent, which we figured that was a void that was needed, and that's why we did what we did. I got you. So once we got over here, we went strictly independent. So um, it's a void, and 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 we we kind of looked around, we looked around the the, the the landscape, the radio landscape, particularly LA. And we noticed that this void was needed because a lot of artists don't have places to go with their music. Right, right. right. You know, unless you're an underground hip hop artist, you can go to some of the college stations. Um, unless you you had a lot of money behind you, you were able to go to the to Powers or whatever of the world. But if you didn't, if you had that that middle ground sounding record to where you had a record that kind of sounded like you know, a Power 106 record, but you didn't have the budget, you had right. nowhere to go. Right. That's why we created the radio show. I got so you. So that's why you hear a lot of commercialized sounding music around here. A lot of our underground hip hop heads, they sometimes don't feel us because we play a little bit more commercial than normal, but mm -hmm. we try to show them love too because, right. you know, they, they need the outlet as well. That's true. You know, we that's don't sleep true. on anybody. So that's why we have that here for independent artists. And that's true. Yeah. And, you know, we do our best to kind of, you know, mix up the program, you know, maybe we're a little more commercial than normal, but we try to mix it up so that way the independent hip hop fans, the independent R&B fans, and the independent you know, right. commercialized music fans all have a place to go. Right, right, right. So. And, and that's and, and that's what we're trying to push. We want to get the independent artists in contact with you. You know what I mean? Right. We want to we want to get the artists in here because a lot of them. I mean, I don't want to have a statistic because I'm not some type of statistician or something. But right. you know, I can definitely say that maybe half percent of the the rappers and singers out there don't know about these outlets you know what i mean the right. radio show and it's just because they just don't i don't know you know what i mean mm -hmm. and so it's our job to really let them know and you know spread the word and then once they really start to catch on you know it's just like wildfire you know what i mean right well, yeah. well you know what i'll tell you what we're gonna step away face and build real quick Yo, we halfway through the show, so check out the second half, or we gonna smack this out you. You know what it is. Flipmo's the squad. Deep Freeze is the label. The radio show. Ha! Yeah, man. The second half of this thing we do every week off the radio show. Dundee, MD, doing our thing up here, keeping it cracking. Right here on the Monday nights, we're going to Tuesday, broadcasting live on Ustream.tv. Ustream.tv slash the radio show. Also streaming all over the all over the Los Angeles area on 1580 AM. Doing the real big tonight. We got West Coast Spotlight Day in the building right now. We're yes, doing sir. a simultaneous interview in fact they're interviewing us while we interviewing them. We're on West Coast Spotlight. You go to YouTube and check that out. 
as soon as this will be posted on there, I'm sure, real soon. But if you want to check out the interview, again, right now, you stream that TV or you can listen to us live on uh, 1580 AM. So we're doing it real big right here three times, so that's why things are a little different tonight, but it's all good and cracking. 626-793-0900-626-793-09. So we got West Coast Spotlight in the building. We, we're chopping it up, just talking about, well, the radio show. What else should we talk about tonight? It's all good, man. So what's up? Yeah, man. Well, you know, you know, West Coast Spotlight. You know, we here to, you know, get 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 the get the guts of fifteen eighty the radio show and get get the the, the the talent to really understand that it's not that hard, right? To get on. No, you know it's, not, it's not that hard. We we've made it basically as simple as we can pretty much make it. For an independent artist to get on the radio show, I mean, we we give the number out. I'm telling you, if a uh, big shout out to Big D, if he was here, he he he'd love giving that number out. He love for people to come in and, and, and contact him directly and make to make it happen. But we we love it as well. That's why we're here. Right. So you know, if they want to get in contact with us again. The number they can dial is 310-676-4890. 310-676-4890. Or you can go to request at uumac.net. Request at uumac.net. <laughs> no cussing. High track, which is a single, and it's clean. Mm -hmm. I'll get a close-up of that up here on, on West Coast Spotlight. Single, clean, no cussing. All right? <laughs> no cussing. I don't want to hear no hood-ish. Nothing like that. Keep Just it clean. Sing, keep it clean. Something that you could party to or whatever, or a slow jam or whatever. You could play in the church or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Anything with no cussing in it, all right? You know we, what? we verify that around here, man. You know we, what? we try to keep that official around here because, you know, the FCC will be after me and I don't need no bills. Man, you know what? Let's kind of elaborate on that, you know what I mean? So far as the West Coast, you know, because if, if you really got to really emphasize on that that much, it must be a problem, you know well, what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, it's always a problem. You know, it's always a problem with that. You know, let's I, I, let's kind of talk about that. You know, because okay. I think me personally, if 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 you if you don't have material that's not vast, you know, it doesn't really right. hit different topics. And I don't know if music is really. That's just my opinion. Right. You know, tell 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 the people out there. You know what you think about music and what 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 these kids are missing and. What, what do you feel they need to do in order to get to these radio stations like you? You know, or just so far as just the, the mindset. Right. You know, because I think it's really just the mindset mm -hmm. getting so caught up, you know, and not really realizing that you really got to be smart and be business-minded right. and be a business exactly. in music. So if you can, Dundee, kind of elaborate on that for the, you know, the listeners and the, mm -hmm. the young talent who really need to get a piece on this game. Well, I, I think you, you've allowed, you pretty much have answered your own question right there. <laughs> I think what you said, I kind of was going to say the same thing. You got to be kind of business, you got to be oriented, you got to be business oriented, you got to, you know, have your records, you know, clean, radio ready. I mean, you listen to any any station with a radio record, you know, keep it kind of hot, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to, you, you, you can't, you can't make records, I mean, oh, I tell you what, real simple, Come to Industry Connects, all right? Industry Connects Music Center, and we will answer that, I'm sorry, October the 16th, and, and, and we will answer that question in its entirety. I but real you. quick, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. you know, just, just, you know, don't make records for your homies. Right. You know, your, 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 your landscape and your fan base is much bigger than your homies, okay? You know, try to get people, your goal is to try to get people that don't know you to love you and want to buy your music. Right. That's your goal. Right. And if you're all in the studio and the homies is all bobbing their head to it, right. and if you take it down the street and nobody else bobbed their head to it, then you might not have a hit. You know, you might not have something that you that could be workable. But you can go always go in there and recreate something. So you always want to go ahead and get as many people as you can to listen and check your song out. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't joking, your credibility feeble Then we'll stop you dead in your tracks like Resident Evil 